moving into the first topic, which is you know capital gains tax. Again, like the capital gains topic is really important、uh, for us because the one of the core, like the core function of the Cointelli software is calculating the capital gains tax and printing out accurate tax reports. So this is a really great topic to to, to jump into.、Um, so what exactly is capital gains tax? According to Investopedia, the capital gains tax is a levy on the profit from an investment that is incurred when the investment is sold. So, in other words, you 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 invest in a,、um, in a in a in a property or in a stock or something, and you hold it, and then when you sell it, let's say you make money off of that, right?、Uh, whatever you sell off and dispose of,、uh, you need to pay taxes on that on that profit. And this little equation here represents it pretty well. So, whatever you the capital gain equals the sales price minus the cost basis minus any selling expenses incurred. So that's pretty much the formula. And one thing that's good to note is again, like when you sell or dispose of an investment, if you make a profit on that sale, then you need to pay taxes on the profit. So that's a key distinction. Like you're not paying taxes on the cost basis; you're just paying taxes on the profit. So, for example, if you invest and buy, you know, one Ethereum for like thirty-eight hundred, and later on you sell it for four thousand, the thirty-eight hundred cost basis is not included as taxable income, right? That's that's your、uh, cost basis. So only the two hundred dollars profit is going to be the taxable income,、um, and so that leads to you know, to like one of the big questions is how much tax is taken out exactly. And so that depends on the holding period.、Um, and the only thing that really we need to, that matters about the holding period、uh, for our purposes is that it's either going to be one of two categories. So it's it's going to be either a short term, which is a year or less, or a long term, meaning you've held on to your asset for more than one year. So it's either short term, one year or less. Long term is more than one year.、Um, and so now we're going to go into the rates, the short term rates. Uh, is again one year or less, and it ranges from ten percent to thirty-seven percent, and also depends on your marital status. So you see here, like this is the actual chart of the short-term gains rates here in the U.S. in 2022. So it's actually the same as your ordinary income. So let's say you work your job and you know you make your salary. That's considered or as ordinary income as well, and so it's going to fall in the same tax bracket. Actually, as part of that, your short if your investment capital gain falls into a short-term holding period, that's going to actually be included with your total income. So not just the in, so your your income will be not just the income from the one from the sale, but the net of all the sources of ordinary income. So in, you know, so for example, if let's say you work and you earn forty thousand dollars in in a year, and you know. From that last example, you sold off your asset and you made a profit of two hundred dollars. So your total、uh, ordinary income would be forty thousand two hundred dollars. And let's say you're a single, right? You're a single filer.、Um, you would fall into this twelve percent bracket here, right? And so you can see the the tax rates differ from, you know, whether your your marital status here. But that's uh, we don't necessarily need to know that in too much detail for this conversation.、Uh, okay. And there's also the long-term rates, and again, your holding period is going to be more than a year,、uh, and so the rates are significantly more favorable. It's going to be <clears throat> anywhere from zero percent tax to up to only twenty percent, and again, it depends on、uh, the, the income and your marital status. Just one thing to keep in mind is that this only applies to your capital assets, so only your investments that you've held for a year or more. And you sold off and made a profit on that. That's what the long-term rates apply to. So it doesn't apply to ordinary income. Seems a little obvious, but、uh, it can be confusing. All right. So that's everything for today. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you.